Are you sick of replacing tabbed batteries in your Game Boy games? I know I am, and in this video, I'm going to show you a way where you'll never have to replace a tabbed battery again. So let's get this open and take a look. Now I have done previously one for the CR2025 battery, but some Game Boy games, like the one you're seeing now, actually uses a CR1616. So there is a different method we can use here, and it's actually a lot easier than the CR2025. It is using a battery holder like so. And as you can see, it's a nice white little plastic thing with some prongs. So all we have to do is get the CR1616 cell and you can slot it in and pull it out of this holder whenever you want. The reason why the CR2025 doesn't have a holder, as you can see, the holder is absolutely massive and doesn't fit in the game cartridge. So first, let's disconnect our CR1616 battery with a soldering iron and some tweezers. So all I'm going to do is heat up one of the pads and then lift carefully. Once that is lifted and no longer soldered, I will then move on to the second joint soldering and removing the battery completely. With the battery removed I'm just going to clean up these joints with my soldering iron quickly. And I've accidentally left a bit of solder on the board so let's just move these out the way. We don't want that in our Game Boy cartridge. Getting our battery container I can hold it into place and then solder both sides down. And for the second side. For the orientation, you can see the Y metal prong is on the right hand side. Looking at the height, it's slightly bigger than some chips on board, but it's just small enough to fit. So all we do is we get our CR1616 normal battery, it doesn't have to be tabbed. You put it in at an angle like so, so you can see that the metal contact makes contact with the outside and then just push and it will slot into place. There we go. Just like that, it's installed and it's easy to replace. Let's just check that this works with a multimeter set to voltage. And as you can see, I record three volts which is good everything seems to be working and there we have it on this type of Game Boy game we will never have to replace a tabbed battery again so let's put this back into its shell and play Mario all that we would like however I couldn't just leave you with that I wanted to look at my old CR2025 video that I did where I did a DIY way with some copper tape and a metal retainer it didn't survive that long it would require glue but if you want to see the video I did on it you can watch that up in the top right Removing the screw from the Game Boy and then opening up the Game Boy itself. As you can see, this is what my DIY attempt was for a CR2025 retainer. As I mentioned before, similar retainers to the CR1616 is just way too big to fit. However, there is a flex PCB that we can use instead of my copper tape DIY, which is what we're going to install now. This gives it a lot more strength than my copper tape and it's thin enough to fit. So let's, as, as it breaks, let's remove my old contraption by trying to get the cell battery out. And we'll need to definitely clean this up, so I'm going to apply my soldering iron to remove the retainer itself from the copper tape. With that removed, it should just slide off. And now let's use some IPA to try and loosen this copper tape and let's peel it off. If you are enjoying this video so far, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and turn on the bell for notifications. I want to peel it very carefully because I don't want to peel it too far. A little more IPA doesn't hurt anyone. This copper tape has been very, very tough. I'm quite surprised. It's a shame it didn't hold its place. I would definitely need a bit of glue just to give it that extra oomph. And there we go with the last of the copper tape done. All that is left is the ones attached to the positive and negative pads. So I'm just going to use my soldering iron to remove those now. With those gone, a last little bit of IPA just to clean up any sticky residue. Now let's clean up the old battery retainer because we can reuse it, no reason not to. So I'm going to use my soldering iron to remove some remaining copper tape. 
Now that those two things are prepared, I can grab the flex PCB and there is two joints as you can see that solder to the negative and the positive battery terminal. We're just holding this down in place, it's very thin. We can then apply my soldering iron to both these connections and not leave it on there too long because it is a flex PCB and make the solder joints. Now those are down, we can get the CR2025 battery retainer and attach it to the end pads on both sides. Making sure the orientation, you can see the curve here, is facing outwards. Now let's solder on the other side. And there we go, everything is soldered and now we can get our CR2025 regular cell battery and it should just slide into place and it should just work like that. Now that the battery's in there, let's put this Game Boy back into its case and then we can get to testing both of these Game Boy cartridges to make sure the saves work. I tested both of these off camera and both saves work perfectly fine and in this video I've shown you where you never have to replace your tabbed Game Boy batteries ever again. It will just be regular batteries admittedly but I think that's a lot easier rather than getting the soldering iron out later. You've already done it, you can just drop it in and replace both of them. I do like for the CR1616 it is just a standard connector that just fits in the case but the CR2025 version is not the same. Hopefully something does come to market that is just as easy until then we have a nice flex pcb that does the job well